In this video, we're going to consider how Greg drove back and forth between a conference. He went to a conference in a city 120 miles away. On the way back, there was road construction. He had to drive 10 miles per hour slower, resulting in the trip taking two hours longer. How fast did he drive on the way to the conference? Well, you might notice we're talking about speeds and distances and times here, and that should always draw to mind the equation rate times time is equal to distance. And so if we make a table here out of that, we'll come up with two equations that can work together. When he goes to the conference, we're not told anything about the rate or the time he drove, so let's just use R and T, but we are told the total distance he traveled on the way to the conference is 120 miles. The return trip was different, though. In the return trip, he, he had to drive 10 miles per hour slower. His rate, then, has decreased, or we subtract, by 10 miles per hour. The time, then, also is going to be 2 hours longer. Time plus 2. Remember, on the way back, he is covering the same roads and the same distance, so the distance is still going to be 120. So when we put these two rows together, we end up with this simultaneous product. That rate times time equals 120, and rate minus 10 times time plus 2 also equals 120. We can solve this simultaneous product by dividing both equations by the same factor. We're going to divide by the factor we're looking for, and the question's asking how fast, or what is the rate. So when we divide by the factor with r, or the rate, we find out that time is equal to 120, over r. Doing the same thing in the other equation, we divide by r minus 10, the factor with r, and that gives us t plus 2 equals 120 over r minus 10. We're now set up to make a substitution, replacing t with 120 over r. 120 over r plus 2 equals 120 over r minus 10. We now have an equation we can solve by multiplying by the least common denominator of r, r minus 10. r, r minus 10 on both sides by every term, including the 2. And when we do, the r's divide out, we get 120 times r minus 10 plus 2r, times r minus 10 equals, when the r minus 10's divide out, 120r. As we start solving this equation, I'm going to scroll to buy us some more room so that we can focus on our work here. Distributing through the parentheses, we have 120r minus 1200 plus 2r squared minus 20r equals 120r which is kind of nice, because you might notice we've got this 120r on both sides of the equation. We can subtract out 120r, then, from both sides to make our equation equal 0. Let's also put things in order. We have 2r squared minus 20r minus 1200 equals 0. Let's start factoring. Pull out the common factor of 2, gives us r squared minus 10r minus 600 equals 0. And 600 is 20 times 30, so we've got r minus 30 times r plus 20 equals 0. Again, if you don't like factoring, we could have solved this also by completing the square or the quadratic formula. You can use either method. They always work. And then we set each factor equal to 0. r minus 30 equals 0, r plus 20 equals 0. Add 30, get r equals 30, subtract 20, r equals negative 20. But recall that r represents the rate he's driving, and he's not going to drive negative 20 miles per hour. Whoops. He must have driven 30 miles per hour to the conference.